we are the Rux Media Collective. Uh, it's Monica Shutta Jibesh. We live and work in Delhi, and we've been working together for 22 years now. And uh, what we are presenting in the Giardini and all the world's futures is uh, is a project called Coronation Park. Um, it's an it's an assemblage of uh, sculptural material, foundations for them, and inscriptions. They form a story together. Some of the things that we keep coming back to is the question of what time means, how is it experienced. We don't see an arrow, a direct arrow of progress or development or linearity between past, present and future. But the question of the relationships between moments of time, which could be across place, across uh, geographies, across histories. Um, how does time disintegrate? What does one take out and put back? So concretely, for instance, here uh, with the Coronation Park, uh, what we are thinking about is that no matter how, how strong a force of power seems today, in time, inevitably, it declines. So we are talking about the inevitability of, of abdication. And the fear the, of the abdication. The fear of the inevitability of abdication because, of I mean, the power. Yeah. decline is not uh, like, oh, over time. Decline can also happen as an interruption, as a rupture, as a disruption, and that is also uh, something that inter in interests us deeply. George Orwell wrote a very fascinating story when he was a commissioner in Burma uh, as part of the British colonial administration called Shooting the Elephant. And in that story, he actually, I think one of the first meditation on seeing the hubris of a very powerful uh, colonial power, uh, imperial power, which look from, looking from inside he could understand its, its demise, its, its, inner, hollowness. its hollowness, its demise, its futility, its internal to it. It's a kind of an examination or a meditation on the inner life of power, its own doubt and its own sense of its own futility and its own sense of coming to terms of it actually not being able to even act in the world because of its own demise, its own weight taking it down. So that is what interests us today because I think today in the world when one has to re-examine the way power has as a kind of works itself out, the plays itself out, talks. Something is missing in, the, in, in each of the sculptures and these can mean two ways in, for instance in terms of thinking about time that something not yet built or something that has also already been uh, destroyed. destroyed. And it's that flux, um, that, that, that in moment, between time, that in between, not yet, that suggesting that has been uh, not yet. Power's self-image may be always that it's very complete, but whenever we ask questions, we can see that it is always both being eroded and also simultaneously trying to build itself. And that tension is what we are hoping to think about. <laughs>